Uh. Hi, thanks for joining me. The battery life of this Makita 18 volt drill driver. It's an 8391D. Battery life has finally got to the point where I can't take it anymore, I need to do something about it. Now, you may look at this and say, Andrew, that should be in a museum. Uh, I have had it for a long time. It's done an awful lot of work, and aside from the battery, it's been absolutely brilliant. I couldn't even begin to write down all of the jobs that this has done in terms of installing things, dismantling things, all the rest of it. Anyway, it's on its second set of batteries. These are a cheapo uh, copy, and as you'll have seen from that bit of video, it just dies. If you've got one of these, I'm sure it's a familiar tale for you. This battery, when it's off, straight off the charger, it will do about three of those screws before it's had it. There are various options for doing something about these nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride uh, batteries in terms of zapping them with a higher voltage. So getting two good 18 volt cells, linking them together in series and then shorting them out across the battery can extend the life a little bit. But I, these these batteries are rubbish. I'm not really interested in extending their life any longer. <laughs> they need to go and we need to have a different option. I'd loathe, loathe to throw away the rest of, you know, the whole thing or, or, or sell it, get rid of it, whatever, because the rest of it's really good. But I also didn't really want to buy another set of these batteries. I, I kind of felt like investing in some slightly more up-to-date battery technology. And I found a way that enables you to use these so they're much more modern and much more familiar, although these have been around for a good old while now. Um, lithium ion LXT 18 volt batteries. This is a 5 amp hour as you can see and it's a genuine Makita as well. Okay here is the widget I'm talking about. It won't surprise you to hear that this is not a Makita genuine part. This is uh, an eBay special. That doesn't mean it's any less useful, but just, uh, yeah, just to say that. So, clips onto the drill, like that. It mirrors the two main terminals on the old battery. Uh, in, in case it doesn't go without saying, this would not be used for charging because uh, the charger that charges these and the charger that charges these is completely different. So you wouldn't put this on that and put it in that charger. <laughs> so that clips in there like that. Now, it's not an amazing fit, is it? You know, we've got this huge spare area here. Not ideal, overhangs here. Um, maybe it's designed for a slightly different form factor of tool. Maybe this drill is so old that, that things have moved on since then. But anyway, basically two straight through contacts from the lithium ion battery through the adapter into the tool. That then slides on there. I've given this a quick test, works really well drill gives full power and everything you know there's, there's no problems with that at all. The other thing that you may have noticed, and I can't get it off now, which I thought was quite nice, is that it enables you to do some USB charging with your 18 volt battery. This torch is great, but it's always going flat because I use it a lot and I forget to switch it off. So there we go. Uh, you can use it as a USB charger as well. Nice little extra feature. Although obviously you can't do that whilst you are using the power tool. I thought I'd just say a few things about looking after these batteries. So this is a Makita BL1850B five amp hour battery, lithium ion battery. These are made up of 10 18650 cells in a 2P5S configuration. Obviously we're circumventing a lot of Makita's usual sort of uh, battery safety bits and pieces. 
One thing that these batteries really don't like to happen to them, aside from getting hot and you know being squashed, thrown at brick walls, etc., is uh, they don't like being discharged uh, too low. So you, you have to stop at a certain voltage. And I imagine when these are used uh, in their intended use case, the tool cuts off when the voltage gets too low. I've tried to research this uh, and to find out whether the cutoff is in the battery or in the tool. And as far as I can tell, it's in the tool, not in the battery. I think these have got some basic short circuit and thermal uh, overload sort of protection within them, but not that voltage cutoff. And that means that if you're going to use this battery in a, in a tool like this with that adapter, you probably need to be a little bit careful about not discharging the battery too far because I suspect you could discharge it too far if you just kept going until the tool stopped. I, I don't know that for certain by the way, just make that clear, but I, I suspect you probably could. Uh, these are these are about 60, 70 quid, so I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna test it. Uh, this one at the moment is nearly full. On that note, these are if you're leaving these for any length of time, they're best left at about 80% charge or well, they're certainly best not left either completely full or completely empty the uh, the makita charger has it, it it plays a tune when it's completely full uh, but when the red and the green lights are on then that's where it's at that sort of 80 percent mark so that's probably a good place to uh, a good time to take it off the charger if you're planning on storing your battery so what i thought i'd do is measure the voltages when we're on one, two, three, and four lights, and then get a feel for when I need to stop using the battery. I realise that isn't ideal, but as I say, it's just a it's just a workaround. Also, having these batteries means that when I buy some other Makita tools, uh, probably an impact driver uh, or an impact bit driver is probably next on the on the list. Then I've got the batteries ready to go. In terms of voltages then, and I'm afraid I've written them down because I couldn't remember them, you'd expect when this is fully charged it would have a voltage of around 21. When it's somewhere in the middle, so at the, the standard sort of nominal voltage of a, of a lithium ion cell, it would be uh, 18 and a half volts, so that's where the 18 volt comes from. And then when it's down at the lower end, and I don't know what the safe discharge level is for the individual cells that are in here, but around about 15 volts. So I think I'd probably stop using this when the pack reaches about 15 volts and hopefully that'll that'll keep it safe. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll learn where that is in terms of the uh, the lights on the level indicator and then I'll, you know, put it on the charger accordingly. So at the moment, for example, the battery as we've said has all four lights on. It's done probably about 20 of those screws that I showed you earlier in the video since it was fully charged. And what have we got? 19, 19.01, let's call it 19, shall we? So 19 volts. So what I'm going to do is keep using it and then either in this video or in the blog post that will go along with it, I'll put the voltages as we lose each of these lights on the charge level indicator. And then that will enable me to get a better idea of when I need to stop using this battery and put it back on the charger. So I hope that was useful for you if you've got one of these old Makita tools as I have and you're wanting to do something about the woeful battery life. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again for the next one. Bye for now.